UMC is home to one of the only fellowship trained stroke neurologists in Las Vegas. That's important if you or a loved one needs care. You want it to come from an expert in the field. Knowing what a stroke is and how to prevent it can make a big difference in your health too. You hear the term stroke all the time, but do you really know what it is? Stroke is Dr. Tamir Mars' specialty. So a stroke is a brain injury um, that happens mostly due to a vascular problem in the brain, which is a problem in the blood vessels of the brain. And there are two different kinds of strokes. The most common type is the ischemic stroke. Um, eight out of ten people with strokes have an ischemic stroke. And an ischemic stroke is due to a blockage uh, in the blood vessels, in a particular blood vessel um, getting to the brain. Wherever that blockage happens will affect that particular function of the brain. And what happens is when a particular area in the brain is not receiving enough blood supply, meaning not receiving enough oxygen, sugars, and other nutrients in the blood, this particular area dies. And that is, that is what a stroke is. The other kind is a hemorrhagic stroke or a bleeding stroke. And this is you know, thought of as the opposite of the ischemic stroke, which basically means that it's uh, most of the times a small vessel that ruptures, that breaks, causing bleeding in the brain. The same way as the ischemic stroke, that particular area where the bleeding happens is going to die and cause symptoms. And that happens very fast. And this is why uh, stroke is an emergency. Uh, the brain is the um, organ in the body that is the most sensitive to ischemia, which is the lack of blood flow. Um, and within a few minutes, really, a stroke happens. So this is why it's very important for our patients to come quickly to the hospital because we have ways to improve their recovery and even sometimes to reverse it. The way to try to prevent a stroke is to work on the risk factors. And the risk factors of strokes are mostly high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, and smoking. The brain controls the whole body and mind, so the symptoms of a stroke are varied. Any sudden onset of weakness, especially if it's on one side of the body, any sudden onset of numbness or tingling sensation or loss of sensation on one side of the body, uh, any sudden onset of a severe headache, the worst headache of your life, uh, trouble with vision, which could be double vision, blurred vision, loss of vision, troubled with walking, coordination, falling, um, you know, sudden dizziness, and also sudden onset of a speech problem, like slurred speech, not able to get your words out, not able to understand your surroundings. This is very concerning for a stroke and you need to get to the hospital right away. So how do you know if you're having a stroke? The word fast can help you figure that out quick. Fast, that's the word we want you to remember when it comes to knowing the signs and getting treatment for a stroke. Let's start with F and the classic symptom of a stroke. Facial symmetry or facial droop, you'll notice right side or left side will start to droop. That's F. Next is A. Raise up your arms in front of you and see if your arm drifts, if you lose control of that arm. S is for speech. Are you slurring your speech? Are you, do you know what you want to say but can't find the right words to do that? And the most important one is T, time. We have a narrow window in which we can make, we can do our best to eliminate these symptoms for you and you have to come in. So activate EMS as soon as you see these symptoms. So that first hour is so critical to your recovery from a stroke. So from the time you hit our doors, we have 60 minutes to do um, the radiologic testing that we need to do, CAT scan and MRI, to make sure that there is no bleed in the brain um, and to be able to administer the TPA. In fact, we can get your first CT scan results in about 12 minutes. That's an entire team of neurologic specialists working to give you the best possible care. If they realize the signs and symptoms, not only for themselves, but for their loved ones, then they can seek immediate help and then we can take care, care of the rest for them. And remember, a lot of people will not recognize their own symptoms, so it's up to you to keep an eye on your loved ones and don't delay treatment for a stroke. Call 911 and get them to the hospital. It could make the entire difference in their recovery.